Okay, all right, we're sticking with signs. You're driving down the road, and on your journey, you see a sign that says, caution, proceed with caution. Automatic response to that is you slow down, and you know you've got to be a lot more aware of the unknown you're coming into. Could be anything. Now, normally, I would slow down. I'm not going to be too concerned about what's behind me. I am going to be more concerned with what is coming at me, what I'm going to get into. That's where the alertness comes in. On the journey in your own life, you face those same situations where it doesn't say proceed with caution, but you've got all kinds of signs that you know. You're getting into some unknown territory here and you're not sure where it's going to take you. Now, what's the biggest highway you encounter in life? The internet superhighway, right? Unfortunately, most of the things that you find online don't come with that warning. Proceed with caution. The best indicator is how do you feel when you leave that site? If you feel confused, if you feel more depressed, or do you feel like a load's been lifted off your shoulders, like a light bulb has gone off in your head and you went, oh my God, I didn't know that. How does it make you feel when you leave that site? Does it make you happy that you found it or does it make you regret going into it in the first place that's what a lot of people are finding on social media is that some of the things they see online make them regret they saw it proceed with caution out in public everybody's got a cell phone Everybody knows how to use their video. You may think that you are doing something that no one else is going to find out about, but if you're outside, it's public. A lot of people are losing their jobs right now because they're doing these really freak out flip outs. Some might think it's none of their employees' business what they do in their own time. The only problem with that theory is that person has shown what their personality is. That person has shown they are out of control. That person has shown things that they probably hide on the job. When you get hired for a job, it's based on your background, it's based on your skills, but above all, when you're sitting there for an interview, it's based on your personality. It's what they perceive you to be. So if you do some major freak out and someone captures it on a cell phone and it goes viral online, it does apply. It applies to your boss. It applies to your neighbors. It applies to everyone you know. Part of PTSD is anger issues you need to proceed with caution if you don't get yourself in control especially in public anything you've got going on in your life is going to be profoundly escalated because then you become this Internet sensation for the wrong reasons. Always proceed with caution, especially when you are going to flip out. Don't do it. Breathe. Understand. You just ignored. Proceed with caution. So whatever you're coming up against that is coming at you makes it not matter what you 
have done in the past. You could have been a wonderful person helping everybody. You could have done tremendous things in your life. But if you do that because you didn't proceed with caution, that's all people are going to remember you for. So think about it. Think about proceed with caution no matter what you do. Because once you do it, you can't take it back. You can apologize. You can regret it. Doesn't mean other people are going to accept that, that apology. So proceed with caution every part of your journey through life. See you next time.